It's pretty easy to apply a tune shader in Eevee, so I thought it would be a nice complimentary video, since we already went through how to apply a line art modifier. Let's get started. We'll start with a general file. These are the settings I have for Eevee. Make sure you have standard and medium high contrast for color management. Click on World Properties and adjust background color. Make sure you're in render preview mode. I've lowered the strength to 0 0.8. I'm going to adjust the point light power to 300. Shift D to duplicate the light from top view. Move them down toward the object. The position of the lights will affect our shader, so adjust accordingly. I think I'll bring in the lamp object to get a better grasp of where the lights should be. There's a tutorial on how to make this lamp, so you can use that if you already went through the tutorial, or you can use any object you wish. Blender's monkey object could be a choice too. Press File, Append, and select the objects you need. I'm adjusting the lights again. Let's go to Shading Workspace. Add a material by clicking New. We just need two nodes to make a tune shader. A shader to RGB node and a color ramp node. Change color stop interpolation type to constant. Adjust colors and color stop locations until you have something like this. Change the type from constant to be spline and adjust some more. Try different colors if you want. The tune shader is already done, but let's add some texture. Search for and add a bump node, a noise texture node, and a color ramp node. Press Ctrl Shift and click on the Texture node to add mapping and texture coordinate nodes. Make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-in enabled to use this shortcut. Connect Noise Texture Factor to Color Ramp Factor, Color Ramp Color to Bump Height, and Bump Normal to Principled BSDF Normal.
lower bump strength to 0.03, mapping scale to 2, and increase noise texture scale as well. Let's try 4D and see how that looks. Play with all the settings to your liking. Try adjusting light location and colors too. There's no right answer to these settings. Trial and error I guess. Let's select the other two objects and the one with the material last and press Ctrl L to link materials. Click on this number to make it a single user and change colors. About time to add the grease pencil lines. I'm gonna put all three objects into a collection by pressing M and name it Lamp. Then Shift A to add a grease pencil collection line art. Choose Lamp for collection from modifier properties. Don't panic, just press 0 for camera view. Change stroke thickness to 10 and change color if you want from material properties. I've decided to add some more lines by marking these loops sharp. I've put it in my quick favorites, but you can also press Ctrl E and select Mark Sharp. I'm doing the same for the top piece.
I'm just going through the final tweaking process. As you can see it's not that difficult to make your objects look more 2D drawn or tune shaded. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe if you think so. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with another tutorial.